Here's a quick and easy way to stretch out carpet that has buckled or folded in the middle of the room. You'll need a power stretcher, a utility knife, and a scrap piece of wood. Most home improvement stores will rent a power stretcher for you for under $40. Step one, clear the room. Now, ideally you'll want to clear the entire room, but since the part I need to fix in this example is only on half of the room, I'm just going to move everything to one side and I'll be able to do what I need to this way. If you have a pattern in your carpet, you'll need to definitely clear the entire room as you'll need to stretch the entire room to ensure the pattern stays intact. For this room, the buckling starts here and goes over here, so we're going to stretch the carpet in that direction, and this will allow the buckle to flatten out. Step two, remove the carpet from the tack strips along the wall in the direction you're going to stretch it, also along the adjacent wall, as the carpet needs to be loose to allow it to move forward as you stretch. If you clear the entire room, then remove both adjacent walls like a U-shape. Step three, set up the stretcher. Place a board along the wall where the stretcher will rest so as to not damage the baseboard or wall. The dial on the stretcher usually goes higher for thicker carpet, lower for thinner carpet. This allows the teeth to adjust so it'll grab the carpet. Here's how you'll place the stretcher. They come with various extensions so you can make it as long as you need to reach from one side of the room to the other. Please note that you will place the stretcher at an angle like this and use it at an angle. Step four, stretch the carpet. One end of the stretcher is resting on the baseboard along the opposite wall and the other end of the stretcher is about an inch away from the wall in the direction you're going to stretch. Then you simply push down on the lever and the carpet will stretch forward. Move the stretcher along and push down on the lever again. Do this until you get all of the buckling out. Step five, you're going to cut off the excess carpet since you've now stretched it out and it will stick beyond the length of the room. Don't cut it flush with your wall though. Be sure to leave an extra half inch or so so that you can tuck that carpet back under the baseboard. And then of course, tuck the carpet back under the baseboard. The tack strips should grab the carpet and hold it in place. I like to give it a tug to ensure that it caught hold and is staying put. And here's the carpet all stretched out and the buckles are gone. After that, you need to vacuum everything and then tuck in the carpet along those adjacent walls and then load everything back into the room. Now that you're finished, you may see a crease where the buckles used to be if that was there for a while. Just give it some time and that will fade. Check us out at thedailyDIY.net and subscribe for more DIY Made Easy.